today's occasion because today we are going to do a new year's eve makeup look and when i think about new year's eve all i think about is black and sparkles so i feel like this outfit was really matching <laughs> i also realized that all of my past videos were about makeup which is great i love makeup that's what my channel is about but i thought maybe we could switch it up with a little bit of a q a asked you guys to ask me questions on my instagram story and i'm going to just answer some of those questions in between the steps of doing my makeup mentioned for me new year's eve is all black and silver sparkles and i love that so i'm also going to do a makeup look like this once again none of the products i use in here are sponsored or anything i just love them i got this eyeshadow palette specifically for this makeup look and i'm excited to see how it works out i never used black eyeshadow before but i want to do like a silver in the front and all black in the back and i think it's gonna be really cool i already did my base so we don't waste too much time if you want to see how i do my base then you can go to like one of my videos before but for today we're gonna get right into the eyeshadow thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use the lightest shade which is not sparkly so like this one here to go all on top of my eyelid I'm actually gonna meet up with a friend for a coffee date later and I'm gonna have to go with this makeup look so we will have to hope that it doesn't look too crazy also because black is very much out of my comfort zone it's so funny because also with clothes I'm usually an all white wearing person but suddenly when like the winter comes i'm like oh black looks nice too <laughs> i'm gonna look at my phone in between the steps to look at some questions that i can answer okay so the first question i'm gonna answer is how did i get into k-beauty okay so actually it is kind of like a long story one thing you have to know is that i always was a dancer i started dancing when i was like five or six years old and i've been in dance groups ever since then by the way, I'm gonna switch to the next darker shade, which in this pillow is this. It is very dark. But it's fine, we're gonna make it work. I've been a dancer for a long, long time. And obviously, I'm part of the generation which grew up with the internet and YouTube and stuff like that. So I also have been on YouTube since like a long, long time. And I used to really like watching like dance related videos because dancing was really a passion of mine. It still is, but that's a whole nother story. Anyways, one day I stumbled across a K-pop video and I loved it. Like, it was so good. Like, the people dancing were just amazing. In the very beginning, when I saw these people dancing, I was like, oh my god, I love this. It's exactly what I want. I loved the music, I loved the style of dancing, I loved everything I saw. So I got soaked into a K-pop hole and the first thing I also started doing was like learning the dances. After learning the dances, I obviously got more into like certain groups and watched more videos of them, like not just choreography videos. After a while of watching all of those videos, I just realized that I also like the style very much and that all of these people were insanely pretty. So I got into K-beauty. It wasn't very accessible at that time and when I went to Korea in 2017, it was like a dream to me and I bought so much stuff and ever since I've been obsessed. <laughs> like, so I'm gonna use the black. We are already getting right into it. I'm really scared, but we shall see. We're gonna do the next question before I put this black eyeshadow on my eyes. I'm really scared. <laughs> Are you single? I get this question a lot. Pretty sure it mostly is from like random guys that only follow me on Instagram. But we're gonna answer it anyways. Oh my god. Wow. I need to blend this out a lot. Anyways, no, I'm not single. I have a boyfriend I've been with for quite a couple of years we've been living together for quite a couple of years now and we own a dog who is gonna turn two in next year i switched to like the bigger brush to blend it on a little more 
Honestly, I know this looks insane right now, but I promise you the glitter is gonna save us. I really have to wash my brushes after this because I there's no way I can use them again. Okay, now we're gonna like clean it up a little bit. I think I need to look for like the next question, right? What are your favorite K-pop groups? Um, that is a hard question. Simply because, I don't know, I've, I'm kind of like out of this whole standing thing. Like when I freshly got into K-pop, there were pretty much rules like, oh my god, if you don't know like all of their names and their birthdays and stuff like that, you're not, you're not a good fan and you can't stand them. And I'm kind of glad that I grew out of this. I don't know, it's probably still like this because fans are insane sometimes. But I don't feel the pressure to like actually stand them and see everything a group does. I started to realize that I can just like groups and listen to their music without like being forced to know everything about them. So in the recent years I've turned more into like a girl K-pop group stan. I I don't know, I just vibe with the girl songs more a little bit recently. I really love G Idol and Asper. I love New Jeans. I've always been a Blackpink stan since like the beginning. I've always been a blink. Um I used to be ARMY too. I don't know. I lost the connection to BTS like a couple of years ago. So well, <laughs> I also really liked Astro, but I don't know what they are up to right now. By the way, I'm gonna use a little bit of glitter now because we need to see something pretty. Okay, it's already getting a little bit better. <laughs> Anyways, I really liked Astro. Also, was a block piece, and I used to. I went to a BAP concert. A couple of years ago too. Also EXO. I think EXO was like one of the first groups to get me into K-pop. I used to be like a huge EXO I also really love New Jeans even though I know like the problematic behind their ages and stuff but I still love their music. They're just doing an amazing job. Okay so we're centering the litter in like the front and blending it into the black so the black doesn't seem as dark and scary anymore. <laughs> but if I'm being honest I'm starting to really like this. What's your all time favorite makeup product? Oh okay that's hard. Hmm. If you're like talking about product in general like not a specific product but like a product type then it would probably be eyeliner because I just I wear eyeliner every day I love it so much um, however I don't know if I have like a perfect eyeliner I'm loving this one that I got from yesterday like a while ago um, I don't even know, Peach C Brush Fix Liner. I really like this one. I do have a Chinese one as well from a brand called, I think, Florte? I don't know how to say it, um, which are cow print and I really like this one too. It's a brown one. I'm just using the other one because I feel like a brown one wouldn't match right now. Oh, but also, oh my god, okay, wait. <laughs> I think this highlighter palette is actually one of my favorite products because it's it's a white highlighter which is perfect for me like I'm really pale and cool toned and I feel like I say this in every video but it's so hard to find a highlighter palette that is light enough for me to like actually still do the job a highlighter is supposed to do and this one is just perfect I love it it's from got to be and I'm gonna use this right now and put it like right there in the front and drag it up like this we are definitely trying to like brighten this crazy look up a little bit. This one is also a product really dear to my heart. It's the Peripera Twinkle Stick or something like this. Twinkle Duo Eye Stick. And I always use this to brighten up underneath my eye again. I feel like this can make any eye makeup look so much better right away. Like it just makes it look cuter. So that is what we have right now more questions 
Where are you from? I'm from Germany. <laughs> lips you're gonna do something pretty simple I just got this oh my god is it the right way around yes I just got this Catrice lip gloss and I think the color is really cute and can go well with the black on my eyes right now the color is called 90 the power of nude and I'm gonna use this Maybelline lip liner we'll find the color. in the color 10 nude whisper I think I've been using this one in like almost all of my videos I also always get asked about my skincare routine or my skincare products. Uh, I'm gonna give you like a list of my favorite products right here. So that's the finished look now. I'm gonna give you a really nice close-up video and stuff like that at the end of this video. So I'm already gonna say bye for now. Thank you so much for watching and like and subscribe if you like this video. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. Um, yes. Bye bye. <laughs>